Hey, welcome back to Subnautica. Uh, first order business. We should we should probably head over to the Sunbeam landing site. That that timer is really starting to give me anxiety. The Seamoth is a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Uh, I'm I'm good, thanks. All right, we have a bit of food and water. I don't want to spend too much more time. We've already wasted like half the timer for this event and I don't know if this is like a possible like end of the game or what I mean if it is I could always reload this thing does not feel much faster than the sea glide I'm gonna be honest at least we have air though oh looks like we got another island I don't think you're supposed to be looking at the islands from the surface that much. They don't look that great. I think you're supposed to be spending all your time looking below. I mean, that, that makes sense. The name of the game is Subnautica. Is that going to be alright there? I hope I didn't permanently beach it. We got birds. I don't see any cave crawlers. That's good. Uh, what is that? <laughs> that is... That is some Lovecraftian nonsense. Those were not made by human hands. Oh, there's a spider. Okay. Uh, is that a bird or something else? Do I want to know? Hmm. Do we want to head into this place? I found out you can run, by the way. This is... Another tablet. Do we need a purple tablet? I guess we'll take it. Our inventory is pretty free at the moment. Yet. Is there something we should be doing here, or are we just supposed to wait for 40 minutes? How did we not see this? I think this game cheats, because we can't see the other island over, uh... No, not that way. Yeah, you can't see the island. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like Morrowind and there's really bad fog, but you can see that all the time. I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to be going. Well, it might be. Uh, no. Hmm. I don't see a door. Then again, if this is like an alien structure, does it even need a door? Perhaps the door is for more primitive minds. I don't like this thing. Reminds me of the Guardians from Breath of the Wild. Hmm. Uh, that kind of looks like a door, actually. Oh, ow. Let's mind the fall. Did we fall that? Didn't seem like too big of a fall. Uh, hello. Uh, purple tablet? Yoink. Okay. We're in. Okay. Uh, the Sunbeam landing site is literally right over there. I guess we have 13 minutes. Indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. So no match is found. I haven't heard anything about whether sapient alien life is a known thing in this game, but this is definitely something new, at least to the Altera company. I don't see any movement. This is very stressful, even by like the standards of this game, right? I, I'm not in the water and that is making me more scared than it probably should be. Okay. Oh. 
Is that music or something coming after us? When did we get data downloads? Alien data. Terminal data. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. Likely a solid state computer, though there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the aliens which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcasted by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Okay. So we got psychic aliens. Good. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. How do you know that is a control room? How do you know that's not just the bathroom? An ion cube. Okay. Thanks. I guess. Suddenly want to play Slime Rancher again. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Okay. So we probably want to turn back pretty soon. We don't want to spend too much time in here. I don't want to miss the sunbeam if it is like something we can actually get off the island or whatever. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Data set appears to be multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. Mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's inner workings. This facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Okay, so there's another facility. The facility consists of the upper engineering section where the schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via a security-sealed elevator shaft, or a separate underwater moon pool. Okay, the control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. This is starting to sound complicated. I don't know if we could have solved this in 40 minutes. Uh, can we go to- oh. Okay, I guess we're going down. Gently, please. I, I expected that to not let us go down. We would just be like stuck up on the top level. I hope we can go back. Okay, yes, force field control. Uh, a moon pool. Right. That's a moon pool. An alien moon pool. Fascinating. Why is it called a moon pool anyways? I never understood that. I think the first time I encountered the word moon pool was when I was reading, like, Sphere, maybe? By Michael Crichton? It's a good book. Uh, movie's alright. Not as good as the book. What are you? Are you scannable? Alien rifle. Can we make that? That'd be cool. Strong resemblance to human weaponry in form, this device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Makes sense. Whether they are the aliens that built the structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear that they considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Alright. Is there anything like that over here? I'm getting jittery. I'm expecting, like, enemies, right? It's just empty and abandoned, and I don't like that. I, I'd almost prefer if there were enemies, which is probably going to jinx me. Uh, alien arch? Arch? Arch! Alien arch! Oh, a stargate! We found a stargate. Intended purpose is unclear. Ceremony or religious, industrial applications, advanced teleportation network. Yeah, no. Stargate. I'm gonna laugh if it's not a Stargate and I've just been conditioned to see weird alien arches and circles as just gateways of some kind. Is that another... do we have a pad? Yeah, there's a tablet already in there, so maybe don't take that out.
this place? Are we are we done with this place? Maybe. What is this? Okay. Uh, I need a purple tablet again. I have a purple tablet at home. I don't want to take out that purple tablet because it's probably going to do something bad, right? What are you? Doomsday device. Enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Uh, I don't think fortunately is usually the word you use when a giant explosive device has malfunctioned. Hey, like if it's rendered itself inert, yes. Uh, my malfunction could change at any given moment. Should probably head back to the beach. Ice match is known, known technologies and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. That makes sense. We can go back up. Okay, good. We're not stuck down here. I'm glad our characters figured this out. I... I got their name off of the wiki when I was looking up how to draw them. Uh, don't remember it though. Oh, it's dark. I don't like that. I don't like it when it's dark. There's a cracked one. Hello. Oh, nice. Okay, I guess let's explore the island a little bit. Can I scan these? No, these are just lights, I guess. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I didn't like that. Is that those cave crawlers? Why are they called cave crawlers if they- uh, we've only seen them on island so far. This is a vast- oh, there's one. Okay. Um, Avoid. Oh, okay. Out, out, out. Go, go, go. Don't fall to your death. Let's just head back to the beach and maybe wait in the sea moth where we can't get head crabbed. Wow, that peeper flew. I didn't know they could do that. Oh, I'm damaging this thing. Okay, we should maybe be careful. Uh, looks like the sun's coming out. That's good. Wait, upgrades. This, this said upgrades, didn't it? A access... Where? Somewhere in this thing is a way to access upgrades for it. Power cell? Okay. So you can replace power cells. That's good. Access upgrades. Where is that? That thing right there. Okay. We, we have no upgrades. That makes sense. Iron cubes are high capacity alien energy sources. Okay. I uh, should probably eat that peeper before it goes bad. I mean, it already did go bad. Vital yeah, we need to get, like, our food situation sorted out. Is that breakable? No. Alright. Well, I, I hope the sunbeam actually gets here in one piece. I don't know... What's going to happen if it does? It can't be the end of the game. We've just started. I mean, if I didn't know any better, like, if if I was some grand game developer and I wanted to keep my cards close to my chest, I would have the game be like this so far and then have the sunbeam land and all of a sudden there are NPCs and you're not alone in this world. And, like, they want to explore this alien stuff as much as you do. That'd be cool. I don't think it's going to happen, but it would be cool. I get the feeling they're going to crash the same as we did and the same as everyone else does. This is like the, uh, 
What's the name of the island? Not the island. The name of the planet at the end of Star Wars Night of the Old Republic. Oh. Uh, that's moving. Uh, is that supposed to be moving? I've got a bad feeling about this. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Where are you? Is that a building down there? What do you mean you're uh, there? Oh, uh, no. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, I... 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Yeah, that is a very gun-shaped building. Ooh, uh, hmm. Okay, so now we know why everyone crashes. But we don't know why everyone crashes. Uh, wow, they are just gone. I, gu I guess the, uh, the Aurora is a very big ship, and this one is not. Oh, we're getting another eclipse. Okay, uh, let's explore the rest of the island, see if there's a tablet on here so we don't have to go back to base. That'd be nice. Of course, we are running out of water. I should say we're already out of water and we're going to start dying of dehydration. That's more accurate. Avoid the crabs. Uh, what is you? Lithium. Hey, lithium. We need that. This is a cave system with lithium in it. Okay. Neat. Uh, that thing's still moving. I don't know what it's doing, but it's moving. A shale outcrop. Ow. Okay. Out, 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 out. Go, go, go. We have overstayed our welcome. Yeah, this just looks like solid rock. Huh. Okay, I guess let's head back to the, uh, head back to base. We have lithium now. I think we can do something with that. Seek fluid intake. Uh, T-Moth, you're not supposed to be there. Please get out of there. Okay, good. I'm wondering if... Maybe the sunbeam is like a speedrun strat. Maybe like, like the uh, the secret ending of Far Cry Four, where if you just sit around and wait, you don't have to go through the rest of the game, and it just ends. Like, what if you manage to solve the facility before the sunbeam arrives? Does that maybe mean you just get on the sunbeam and take off? That'd be interesting. We have thoroughly damaged our sea moth. That's not great. Come here, peeper. I need you. Yes, food. Uh, I think I read a thing. Yes, okay, so. Yeah, okay. When things are done growing, they stop showing the little circle, which means you need to plant them again. So. Uh, you could plant full mushrooms, but they're not going to do anything, as opposed to these, which I think will grow. Yes. You're not, game, you're not showing me the, like, things. Oh, there it is. 5%. Yeah, it's hard to see them because we're, like, the refraction of the water is not doing us any favors. Should maybe you have put that somewhere else. Same thing goes for all of this, actually. It's all grown, but I don't know... I don't know what to use any of this for, so I'm just going to leave those for now. They can be decorative. Yeah, we need... We need to find some food. Playing partially 
Translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, this has been Subnautica. I think I'm just going to stop playing here and now because I'm a little bit terrified. Also, yeah, that's nonsense. You can't see any of these islands from here and they're not that far. That one's got to be right there. There's like a cloud in front of it. Cloud's not there when we're there. Yeah, there's clouds all over the shop. That's... That's a very cheeky way of hiding these islands, if I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure I like that. Okay, so to make a tablet, we need iron cubes, which we seem to only be able to get from alien ruins. That kind of makes sense, I guess. We, we have the ability to replicate things from a nano level. We just need the materials. What did we want the lithium for? I can't even remember anymore. Applications in high strength alloys. Okay. Lithiums make reinforcements. That's not what we wanted. What did we want that requires lithium? Ultra glide fins. Fins, silicone rubber, titanium, and lithium. That, that sounds like a good idea, yeah. How do I make ultra glide fins? Modification station. What in God's name is a modification station? How do we repair this? It's at 82. Uh, don't we have a repair tool? Yes, you. Okay, that's that makes sense, but I'm surprised it worked. Let's build a scanner room. That could come in handy. Is that gonna fit? I hope it connects. No. Great. Why doesn't this want to connect? I finally figured it out. I just had to rotate it. Please don't leave mean comments about how much of an idiot I am. I know. I'm aware. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh. Okay, so that's us. Cool. Uh, scanner room upgrades. Oh, this comes with a fabricator, but only for scanner room stuff. Okay. Guess I'm building that. Didn't even mean to. We don't have a HUD chip. Shoot data from scanner rooms to the HUD. That's neat. I don't we'll know what magnetite is, so. But we can put this in. There we go. Now it's speedy, uh, which means nothing to me because I don't know how fast this is. Okay. This looks. This looks like good stuff. Okay. To use the HUD. Okay. Stalker tooth. Okay. Wreck. Reef packs. I guess that's everything that's in the area, huh? Okay. Interesting. Uh, doesn't look like a very big area, does it? Is that supposed to be like actual animals, those little blue dots that are moving? Or is that just for show? Cameras, huh? Okay, so I don't need to make drones. It comes with drones. That's nice, I guess? I need to put windows in this so I know when it's day or not. Uh, I do have some quartz. Not a lot, though. I'll worry about that when we get back. For now, let's head back to the island now that we have the purple tablet and see if we can figure that place out. Yeah, that should not work. I should, I, that should flood this place with water, and then maybe we drain it? So yeah, it was this way. There's just a bunch of, like, fog. Like a fog bank. Interesting. Am I even going the right way? Huh? Huh? I don't think that's supposed to be happening. You see that? Yeah, I, I don't think they really planned the above ground stuff through. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that looks kind of ugly. 
Yeah, this game works much better when you're not above ground. I get why they did it, because it's like there's a cool wow factor to it. Oh, this game about being underwater has parts where you're not. But, uh, maybe work out the kinks first. This, this fully released game is starting to feel a little early accessy. I mean, I, I'm not trying to bully Subnautica, but it, it does make itself a bit of an easy target. There it is. Yeah. Poppin's not great above water, and I don't know why that is, because it seems fine on under the water. Uh, have we scanned this? Oh, a bubble tree. Yes, we have. Okay. Yeah, those bird things really love hovering just above the water. Or land, I should say. This is terrifying. Like, I don't like normal elevators. This is worse. You made elevators worse. How did you even manage that, aliens? Okay, so there's the tablet that's already in. And just up here, there should be one that's not inserted. Right? Past the doomsday device. Over here. Yeah, how do we get into here? I'm gonna laugh if, like, we get in here and it's like some sort of bioweapons lab. And we get infected with some sort of alien super virus. I would serve us right. This is not what you should be doing when you get shipwrecked. Do not, like, explore alien ruins. It's a good way to die and maybe destroy half the universe. These are nice, empty column rooms. Good job. Uh, are those turrets? Oh. Um. Can I scan? No, I cannot scan. Okay. Hi. Oh. Oh. Hello. Ah. Don't like. Do not like. Broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. I swear I haven't played this game before. Uh... Translating background broadcast. Oh, are we just gonna do it again? Yeah, uh, maybe? Yeah, okay. Let's not- let's stop stabbing ourselves real quick. Right, uh, can we scan this? Okay, energy core. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to scan this. The device houses energy equivalent to a 1,000 megaton, 100 megaton nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be activated if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. Okay. That's, that's a stasis rifle. Uses patented technology to slow time around an entity to as near to a full stop as the laws of physics will permit, essentially anchoring the target in place without affecting its internal workings. Designed to facilitate scientific and engineering operations by expanding the window of time for action in time-sensitive scenarios. So, yeah, temporarily incapacitating organisms for research purposes may not function correctly on larger organisms. Yeah, that sounds... Imagine if someone shot you in the arm with that and your arm just, like, ripped off because it was moving slower in time than you were. No, thank you. Propulsion cannon allows technicians to manipulate gravitational forces at ranges up to 20 meters. Commonly used in construction and mining to move materials. It's, it's a gravity gun. Okay. Not recommended for use on organic subjects. It's just a gravity gun. The Seamoth. It's a one-person vehicle with an independent replaceable power cell. And a fully customizable design. It doesn't look very customizable. I guess we could mod it. 
Low power multi-directional thrusters enable to function equally well in space, sea or space environments. Yeah, so equally well, but not very great. Right. Okay. Increased storage, power, pressure and collision compensation, enhanced sonar defensive capabilities. I don't, I'm not seeing anything about making it go faster. Bulkhead door is designed to separate compartments while reinforcing in structural integrity with its solid titanium frame. Door can be open and closed to seal off compartments in the event of fire or flooding or simply for privacy. It's the grow bed. It's another grow bed. Uh, more planting stuff. Scanner room. Transform a small outpost into a burgeoning scientific and exploration station. Yeah, okay. It's good. And the spotlight, exactly what it says on the tin. Alien facility locations. Intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Disease research facility, depth 800 meters. Location, cave system with extensive fossil record. Southwest of enforcement platform. Okay. Function, live specimen study. Objective, synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated car. I'm glad we're getting like actual translations for things now. That's nice. Thermal power facility, 1200 meters. Inside an expensive... Natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. Generate energy for all local facilities. I'm not seeing, like, sea cables. So are these things, like, powered by, like, quantum mechanics or something? I mean, they're aliens. They can probably do that. I could take these tablets out and use them elsewhere. But I probably just want to leave them so that we know we can get back to the big old quarantine gun whenever we need to. I get the feeling we're not getting off this planet until we solve that problem. Also, I don't know. Do we want to go in the moon pool? Oh, there goes my Digimon. I guess I'm not going in the moon pool today. Yeah, that was Sister Mon Blanc. She wanted to be tucked in for the night. I mean, if it wasn't absolutely terrifying, it would be kind of cool, right? I like the embodiment of American appeals and desires. I don't like to put my independence and my freedom in the hands of anybody or anything else. This is why I prefer stairs over escalators. Like, an escalator, you have to trust that it's not going to chew you up like, you know ground beef. You don't have to worry about that with stairs. Shale outcropping. What is shale? Oh, shale is diamonds. Materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at 3 million credits. Excuse me? Did I hear that? So this is a libertarian paradise. I just wasn't aware of it. That's great. What is shale? Gold, lithium, and diamonds. Those are all things we could use, actually. So let's get a bunch of that. Are these bioluminescent? I think they are. Everything on this planet is bioluminescent. It's not so special when everything's doing it. Uh, I don't know if I should be down here. I don't trust that, like, yellow glow. Could be toxic. We're getting a lot of good stuff. This kind of feels like an endgame area, almost. But the game did send us here, so... Is that just a trick of the lighting? Is that what that is? Hmm. I don't know. I guess we can look around in here. Yeah, I think that's just the lighting. What are you? Blue palm. Alright. And you are... Coral shell plate, but I cannot scan you. Have I already scanned that? I don't think so. I don't know what I hear, but I don't like it. Tree leech. This is not a tree. This is a rock. I don't know what you're doing. This place is deep and expansive, and I don't like the noises I'm hearing. Let's go back up before we lose track of where we are. Uh, getting lost in an underwater cave is a very good way to drown. Uh, actually, that's not true. I've heard it's a horrible way to drown, but... 
It's very easy to do. We should probably make beacons so that we can more easily navigate these places. I mean, we kind of know where this is because the big fog wall makes it kind of obvious. But it would be nice to know exactly where it is at all times. Or at least from base. Oh, it's one of those bitey guys. So this is a red area. Is that what I'm hearing? Is the little red shark guys? Maybe. Uh, what are you? You're new. I don't know if I even want to get out of the car. The car. Is it hostile? Yes, okay. Very much so, okay. Maybe it just doesn't like being bumped into. That's a lot bigger than a stalker. I'm not getting out of the CMOT. No way. We'll, we'll scan that when we get like a stasis rifle or something. My bad. This thing's a little worse for wear out. Did I just run into myself with my own Seamoth? That's not great. Let's heal up. And repair. Yeah, nobody ever said I was a good driver. I kinda like how empty it is up here. Like, there's the occasional fish or reef back, but it's... It's very calm. I wonder if, like, the real ocean... I mean, the real ocean is probably like that, actually, because these upper areas are clear because you know, you want to avoid predators, and you do that by staying out of sight. And they stay in, like, the reefs or down below towards the bottom of the ocean, depending on how level it is. We are pretty close to Officer Keen's location. Where is this... Is that another? That's another reef back. Okay, not have to worry about that. That? Okay, that looks like an island again. We really need to start labeling these. I'll do that later. So wait a second. This island. How does this work? Oh, oh, it's a floating island. Oh Jesus! I am a horrible driver. An ancient floater. Spooky. That's cool. So we have a, a normal island and a floating island. Well, I mean, at least they're creative. Let's find the beach we usually land on and go from there. Is it this one? No. It's further along. I say usually. I've been on this island twice. Once while recording and then once in creative mode to take pictures of the, uh, the Degasi outpost ruins. It's, it's also when I figured out you can run by holding down shift. It's a nice feature. Do we want lantern fruit? I guess we do want lantern fruit. We can grow that. It's edible. Uh, we'll pick up a marble melon. Sure. And also Chinese potato. Alright, now we need to find our way to that one or this one. Which one did we do last time? I can't remember anymore. Uh, I think it was that one, so let's go this way. No, I think we did go up this one last time, so let's let's go to the other one. Uh, by going this way? Maybe? This is a very strange way to go. Uh, is that new? Are you new? What are you? What are these glowing plants? Probably nothing. Is that more... More food. Okay. That's good. Anything new? These just look like marble melons and Chinese potatoes. No. Looks like normal food. I mean, we could take it if we're hungry. I might just leave it for emergencies. Don't know what that means, but emergencies. This is not an easy path to navigate. Great. Better be worth it. There better be something good up here. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna start taking all this food. Oop. Plant pots. Okay, that's new. So, these are all edible. 
cool. Don't know if we need that many Chinese potatoes. We could always eat some. Yeah, let's, let's bring back an even amount of stuff and then eat what we don't need. A swivel chair? Alright. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Fantastic. Right, what are you? Voice log one. Interesting. Integrating new PDA data. Uh, there aren't any beds in this game, so I can't just skip the night like in Minecraft. So let's just carefully make our way down. We only have fifteen percent power on this thing. This is probably not a good idea to be using the seek light as a light source. Should probably have made a flashlight at some point. How did I manage to get lost on an island? Like, I know where the sea moth is. Where is the Degasi habitat? Is it here? I think it's here. Yes. Okay. Good. We might have to fight for it. And, of course, it turns to sunrise after I spend the entire night stumbling around on this island. You can't see... Oh, you can sort of see... Stuff over there. Alright, let's head back. Alright, I've taken up all the plants that don't seem to really do anything and replaced them with actual, like, crops. Although, wait, no, okay. The marble melons aren't actually growing because they're not seeds, they're just the melons. Right. Uh, which means we want to do that to it. That's right, okay. I figured it out. So these are marble melon seeds. Which, wow, we eat a lot of marble melons. Okay, so that's what we have right now. That's not too bad. So now we have like, decorative plant pots. Can we plant things in those? I mean, I assume so. Yes, okay. So, that, so that's why you can just take any plant and turn it into seeds, because you might want to decorate. Okay, uh, we need the quartz, and then we could we're gonna build a big locker back there, and that's gonna be storage, because it's kind of a pain to get over there anyways with the, uh, with the ladder in the way. I know the same thing is true of the lower level where we just put the, uh, the scanner, but, you know, it's easier to walk around than this. I suppose they're about the same. Well, it would look ridiculous to have, like, a big room hanging off the back of here. So let's just put a locker down here. Alright, cool. And this will just be where we put stuff that we don't really use all that often, like seeds. Uh, those eggs that I still don't know what to do with. I think we need an alien containment unit for stuff like that. Maybe we can start, like... You know, doing animal husbandry. Which is a very weird thing to say about your alien ocean exploration game. But no, I'm, I'm getting into the groove of this. This is this is Minecraft. This is Stardew Valley. I, I, I get this. So yeah, let's just put all this stuff. I don't know what to do with these. I guess I'll put those in there as well. And we'll have sorted out our inventory. There's nothing in the escape pod. We could blow up the escape pod for all it does. I mean, it does provide... Medkits, although I think we can build a medkit station in the base. I wonder if we can scrap the habitat. I don't think we can. Of course, I haven't exactly tried. Alright, we're starting to get nice clean inventory in here. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators, fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight, Mater, but I've made my decision. 
You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking of it. Why does Paul not want her to swim? What does he know that we don't? You know, we, we know what biters are. We also know what a mesmer is. I don't I don't like that. What is that? Don't don't like that. Ancient floater. Iodata suggests these vast floaters have matured in an ingenious symbiosis with the land they've attached to. Increasing sunlight and encouraging plant growth. As older plants decay, organic residues and nutrients seep into the rock and are consumed by the floater. These circumstances must have held for thousands of years for a floater to reach this size. Immature floaters are born near the surface from where they sink into the seabed, attaching to any stable surface they find. Those individuals fortunate enough to attach to a, a digestible nutrient source will grow in size, this increasing their buoyancy and drawing whatever they are attached to closer to the surface. In extreme circumstances, a number of floaters may attach to a leviathan glass life form, forcing it on the surface and effectively asphyxiating it. The body will be consumed over a number of months until eventually dissolving leaving the floaters free to attach to a new host. Those creatures which successfully raise a landmass to the surface are rewarded with a burgeoning and permanent food supply, allowing them finally to reproduce and begin the cycle again. Assessment. Incredible. And also probably inedible. Shuttlebug. A common scavenger at the base of the food chain. Okay. Necessary waste recycler presence may indicate nearby cave systems. Yeah, that's where I usually see them. Blue palm. Common aquatic plant. Got it. Tree leech. Parasitic fungus-like growth found attached to other life forms. An enzyme is released by the organism which dissolves a hole in the skin of the host from which it leaches nutrients directly. Uh, outer tooth line jaws serve no identifiable purpose may be used during different stages of the organism's lifespan. I don't like that. that was a, we saw those on an island, right? Hmm. Don't like that. Well, that's grown along nicely. We have, we have diamonds now. What did we... We wanted the diamonds for something, didn't we? We have diamonds and lithium. Uh, the laser cutter. Diamonds, battery, titanium. So we could make a laser cutter and then go cut open that wreck. But that's going to have to wait till next episode, folks. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.